going to get wrecked. It's going to be awesome. <clears throat> okay. What's that? What? Let me put my <laughs> on the table and I'll show you who's a man. I feel like my face is very close. You are very close. Hey, everybody. Oh. Uh, no, there's more in there, but it won't come out. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Hey there, booze buddies. Welcome to Paranormal Spirits, where we share a drink, we tell you a spooky story, and then we rip it apart because booze always shows the truth. And as always, we will be playing Emily's Drinking Game. Emily's Drinking Game! <laughs> Ooh! Yeah! Ooh, yeah! Where every time we screw up a word or phrase, we drink. So grab a drink and play along with us. It's my turn to tell you a story today. Yo, I'm not doing that. You ready for my story today? I am on the edge of my seat. That makes one of us. Today, I'm here to tell you the story of the haunting or legend or whatever you want to call it of Sloss Furnace. I had to say it like that because I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Because it could easily come out as Sloss Furnace. Yes, for- that's... I didn't even mean to do that. So from 1892 to 1971, Birmingham, Alabama's very own Sloss Furnaces transform, tra- oh no, transformed coal and ore into steel that would pave the way for the Industrial Revolution. It sounds like I'm reading a book report. It's gonna pave the way for the Industrial Revolution. The materials made from sloth furnaces, ooh, I caught it, were used for skyscrapers and cars and all of that sort of stuff during that time period. In the early 1900s, James Slag Wormwood, this motherfucker name was James Slag Wormwood. How evil of a name do you need to have? I mean, you know what slag is, right? No. Oh, slag are the impurities when you're heating up metal to make steel or iron or whatever. The impurities, they come off in the hardening process and that is called slag. The more you know with (laughs) metal. This evil motherfucker who sounds like the bad guy from a Harry Potter movie. He was the foreman of the graveyard shift, so we Mm. needed to get a little bit more evil, right? He oversaw a crew of 150 people who were tasked with keeping the furnaces fed overnight, and they were subjected to terrible conditions. In the summer, the temperature in there would get reach upwards of 120 degrees. Lack of sleep, visibility, and the crazy heat made the working conditions as they referred to a living hell. They called it a living hell, which sounds, sounds like right. it was most definitely yeah. a living hell. Only the poorest of workers, so people who couldn't find jobs anywhere else were the ones who would take this job. Like there were literally people who were like, I just, I need a job. I really <laughs> need this job. I'm gonna go work at the Sloss Furnaces. <sighs> this bad Mama Jamma would mm-hmm. make people do ridiculous things in order to increase production. And under his supervision, 47 workers lost their lives. That's like one third of the people. Out of 150 people, 47 of them <laughs> dead. Like that's, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lynn, it's not. It was 10 times more injuries than any other shift ever on record. And those who didn't die, some of them suffered injuries so severe that they wouldn't be able to work anymore. They could no longer work. And there was even an explosion on record that left a few people blind. So nice job, Slag. In October of 1906, Mr. Wormwood himself lost his footing at the top of one of the furnaces and fell in and died. His body melted instantly. He instantly melted in a pile of of whore. (laughs) Nope. (laughs) (laughs) Or a pile of ore. It's reported that he got dizzy from the methane gas and fell in, but he'd never stepped foot up where he was prior. So there's a theory that the workers 
were sick of his shit and they basically threw him in. After that, they decided to discontinue the graveyard shift due to numerous reports of strange incidents that decreased steel production. So they said, this guy died, weird shit started to happen, and they called it off. Oh, old Slaggy Wormwood was pissed. He got pushed. Slaggy Wormwood came back, right? The legend of Slag grew each year that he was gone. So it grew bigger and bigger. What a terrible name for your own legend. The legend of Slag. Right? The legend of Slag. metal shit. Workers complained of an unnatural presence in the workplace and they felt yucca. That's what they said. It's on record. I felt yucca. A night watchman in 1926 sustained injuries after being pushed and hearing a voice that said get back to work and upon further inspection there was nobody there in 1947 three supervisors went missing and they were found locked in a room none of which had any recollection of what happened to them except for hearing somebody tell them to push more steel whoa okay okay question well just one really were they all pushed in the room at the same time or were these three separate events my research states <laughs> no it said that they were all found unconscious in the room together so they okay. were all put in there together but they were unconscious in the room together yes thank you wow the tough word so then in 1971 probably mm-hmm. the most scariest story the most scariest is that proper english no <laughs> The most scariest story was the night before the plant closed. The night Mm -hmm. watchman was like doing his rounds and having like a little nostalgic walk around. And he experienced and saw what he said was like the most terrifying thing. And he saw a half man, half demon looking thing that started to push him up a set of stairs. And when he kind of pushed back and refused to go up the set of stairs, it started beating on him. So he started getting beaten on. So then he was examined after by a doctor and he was covered in intense burns. So he was covered in burns. That night watchman actually died before he ever got to go back to the location. He didn't die from the burns or he just happened to it die separately? It doesn't say, but I think he died separately. It doesn't say that he okay. died tragically from whatever. I want to know what this half man, half demon person thing looked like. Probably looked like John Cena. Below John Cena. It's like the Kool-Aid man. It's a half man, half demon. <laughs> oh, yeah. There have been more than 100 reports of certain like paranormal things occurring there some of them are physical some of them are not it's worth it to kind of note that most of them happen in september and october which is halloween season but also like the time Mm -hmm. period in which this guy was in charge and they all occurred during the graveyard shift he was only in charge for two months i don't know i'm making stuff up at this like let's say 30 something people died in two months he was really good (laughs) i might have skipped like a lot of it or a little of it, but I don't know. I skipped some facts, but that's fine. We don't need some. facts. This okay. isn't about facts. All of these are incidents are recorded. They're on police records. And some of them involve something as minor as like a whistle blowing that wouldn't necessarily blow. And some of it is like a physical, actual assault that's happened. Multiple people and TV shows have all gone to investigate And there's a list and I've had too many beers to actually list the list or talk about Mm -hmm. it, but I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. That's the list. I was on like ghost guys and scary (laughs) stuff.com. Yeah. And and paranormal lookers. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, invisible secrets of the sloth furnaces, (laughs) the sloth furnaces. It's happening. The slag file. These are all official. Mm-hmm. Official shows. They do like Halloween stuff there every year too, Ooh. which I hear is super cool. So I want to go. Let's go. Yeah. <gasps> we could do a live show. Hey, friends. All Great. three of you that comment on every video. Right. want to go to <laughs> Birmingham, <laughs> Alabama and yeah. check out the slag files. P38AC44. We're talking to you. Suni, talking to you. And Big Rob 30080. Zero, zero, talking to you mildly awake talking to you that's right my friends all for you right we see you we're going to birmingham alabama
Strap That's right. On. Strap on. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I'm just super glad that we don't live in a time period where if I can't find a job, I have to go work the graveyard shift at the freaking iron melting factory of death and destruction. For a guy named Slag Wormwood. You'd be like, hi, my name is James Slag Wormwood. I'd be like, hi, I quit already. Thank you so much. <laughs> so that's the crappy story of the legend or haunting of the sloss furnaces. <laughs> if you like what you saw, take those burnt fingertips and like, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you don't like what you saw, climb up to the very tippity top of the furnace and I will push you in myself. Thanks for watching and join us next time for more Drunken Adventures with two old, definitely not nighttime laborer whores. Mm -mm. Get the f out. Get out. Goodbye.